What's up, guys? Dustin Huey here. Back with some more NHL 13 Jim Mo with the Edmonton Oilers. I almost said Colorado Avalanche. I'm I am so out of it right now. We're 56, 21, and 5 on the season. We won the Stanley Cup in seven games against the Brooklyn Islanders. Yes! And we kicked ass. Um so our HL team is in the Calder Cup finals. So I think I'm gonna go and sim through those games. Because, I don't know, I feel like doing it. Um, I'm just going to double check. I'm pretty sure they're in the Kyle Cup Finals right now. Playoff trophy. I'm going to just double check that. Yeah, there we go. Oklahoma City against those guys. I don't know what that team is. <laughs> uh, Binghamton Sound Tigers. Or, is it Bing? No, Bing Binghamton Senators. I don't know what, is it Bridgeport? Sorry, I'm not good with the HL teams. I know a couple of them, but... Uh, yeah, I think it's Bridgeport. I feel like it is. Okay, anyways. Let's do this. Uh, sim game. I'm not gonna worry about stats or anything, but. Goals times six. Let's see how we do. And then we'll just go to the draft. Woo! There we go! Good start. Good start, baby. <laughs> uh, no, no. Here, I'll make a sim faster. I'll do times eight. There we go. Pit lick. Yep. Oh, yeah. Morrissey. Josh Morrissey. There we go. Oh, yeah. Rajala. There we go. Uh, it's okay. That's all right. That's okay. Oh, 5 1. Oh, 5 2. Oh, my goodness. 5 2 win in game one for the Oklahoma City Barons. Woo, way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Bridgeport. I thought it was. B I, I had Binghampton in my head, but that's the Senators. So, sorry about that. It's Bridgeport. Bridgeport. Sound Tigers. Bridgeport. So, big game one for our Oklahoma City Barons. Nice. I wish they'd fix the stats for this, but whatever. Game two. Here we go. Oh. Kumalane in. Nice. Second bear head. Wow, look at all the shots. Shaver. Wow. Two nothing win. Forty two to seventeen were the shots. Wow. Just domination by this by this Edmonton Euler farm team. Holy crap. Domination. Looking good. Domination. Oh, Frankie Palazes. I really hope he boosts up. I feel like after this year, if he wins the Calder Calder Cup, I feel like he's gonna be like disgustingly good. I mean, he's getting so so much XP for this right now. Ooh, not a good start. Come on, Frankie. Ooh, bounce back, guys. There we go, Rajala. There we go. Oh no. Come on, Barons. Oh, Jonathan Chichu. Ooh, Ronaldo. There it is. Oh, Thero! Oh, oh, Markov ties it up. Man, there's a lot of high-scoring game here. OT. OT. Oh, Asala on the power play! The Barons take a 3 nothing series lead. Nice. Good job, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Sick. You know how dominating that'd be if we won the cup? Both cups. I was gonna say the cup and the cup, but <laughs> we won both cups. All right, game four. Can we win the Calder Cup as well? Goal. Oops. Goals times eight. Now let's do times six. Should I watch the? Nah, we don't need to watch the thing. Oh, it paused. Okay, here we go. Oh, 1-1. One, one. Oh, wow. 2-1. Why is it going so slow? Second period. Come on, come on, Barons. Bounce back. There we go, Asala. Come on, Barons. Oh, bounce back again. We gotta tie it. Oh, 4-2. Oh, Pitlick. Can we tie it up? Oh, no, it's over. 5-3 loss. 3-1 series lead. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Shh. I hope we can win. Palazza is not a good game, bro. Four goals. 
Not a good game. Nope. Nope. Not good at all. 3-1 series lead for the Barons. Come on, Barons. Home. We're going home. Back in Oklahoma City. Got some uh, Edmonton Oilers out. Cheering on the team. There we go. Zarkov. Oh, wow. They're getting lots of shots here. Come on, guys. Third period. Oh, Hamilton. It's over. Could be over. 3 nothing, Osla. Oh, boy. Eight minutes. There it is. Oh, baby. Oklahoma City Barons win the Calder Cup. They were outshot 41-26. Wow. Palaz has stopped 41 shots. <whistles> and wins the Calder Cup, baby. So we clean up this year. We didn't win the Calder last year, but we clean up this year. We got the Stanley Cup and the Calder Cup. Woo-hoo! Lovely. Love it. Loving it. Frankie Palaz is 41 saves for the shutout and the win. <sighs> Beauty. All right. And through the magic of editing, I will speed through. And we will go very fast through the simulation part of this section. And I'm just going to talk randomly about silly things until it quickly simulates. And then we will continue the video because I'm simulating this awesome simulation. And it's really fun and it's going to go super fast. You're not even going to notice that it's happening because I'm talking about stuff right now. Talking about so much stuff, and it's simulating, and you can't even tell that it's simulating. Holy moly, here we go, it's simulation, and it's complete! Alright, so here are the retired players. Um, so we got Antropov, Boshman, uh, Verbata, Peverly, uh, Boychuk, not bad, McMillan. Oh, Dave McMillan. I was like, hmm. Yuri Hoodler, Ryan Malone, Marion Hosa. Eric Brewer, Taylor Pyatt, who do we have on our team? Eklund, Nicholas Eklund, who's that guy? I don't even know. UC Vanninen, that's it. So just two random AHL guys, I guess. Uh, anybody else big? Scott Gomez, uh, Alex Burrows, Travis Moen, David Legwand. It's starting to get to the point where a lot of players are just retiring already. Wow, Brad Richards, Derek Morris. Chris Kunitz. Yeah, a lot of players are starting to retire. A lot of the young guys will be taking over. Vinny LeCavalier. Douglas Murray. Kevin Bieksa. Joel Ward. Lankow. Trying to see if there's anybody else. Adam Hall. I thought he was on our team, but I guess not. Um, let's see what the goalies are like. Dan Ellis. Roberto Luongo. Couldn't get that Stanley Cup. Or did he win a Stanley Cup? I don't know. I don't think Florida won. Uh, Nate Mackey, Subarin, or Sabarin, however you want to say it. All right, cool. Uh, no, we don't want to play that. Okay, and we're going to look at the awards right now. Stats, awards. All right. And you guys were telling me to trade... Clef bomb for, or somebody said trade Clef bomb for Morgan Riley or something. I don't know. We'll see. All right, so here we are, Stanley Cup back to back victories for the Edmonton Oilers. Oh, wrong way. President's Trophy. We won the President's Trophy as well. Um, yeah, not bad, not bad. So the Islanders have been to the Cup final twice. Or wait, what? Oh, what? That doesn't make sense. Oh, never mind. That's President's Trophy. The Islanders won the cup two years ago, before us. So it's almost like the 80s repeating itself. The Oilers and the Islanders are, yeah, re leading the way. All right. Maurice Rocker Richard, Patrick Marlowe. Wow, on Carolina, Patrick Marlowe. Hmm. Oh, I never went through. Did I go through the team stat? I thought I went through player stats. Maybe I didn't. I'm sorry if I forgot to. Sorry, guys. Uh, Ted Lindsay, Jonathan Quick, our goaltender. Yep. Travis Zajac won the Frank J. Selkie. Bill Masterson, Col Colton Tubert, William M. Jennings, Jonathan Quick. Vesna Trophy, Jonathan Quick. Yep. Con Smythe, Jonathan Quick. <laughs> Holy crap. Calder, Jeff Gallant. Yeah, that's kind of crappy. I thought um, our uh, Doherty should have won. Lady Bing Memorial, Neil Yakupov. Nice. James Norris, Joseph Morrow. Questionable. 
Hart Trophy, Jonathan Quick. Holy crap, Quick. Jonathan Quick just cleaning up. Art Ross, Alex Ovechkin. Wow, Jonathan Quick. Big season. Wow. Just beauty. Just a beauty of a guy. There we go. All right, so let's take a quick last look at um, scouting and stuff. Scouting report. Scouting. I always forget if it's scouting report or scouting central. Yeah, I think that's what it is. So there's John Quick, who's also four and a half star, and I'm thinking that he's the he's the guy. You know, I'm thinking he's the guy. 18 left sniper, Red Deer. Let's see. I don't know if we can get him, but I would love to get him. Oh, he's an offhander too. Nice. Yeah, he's uh, left-handed on the right wing. That's sick. That is sick. Okay, what are the goalies like? Couple of top tens, but nothing. Oh, scouted goalies. Where's the other goalies? Goalies. Yeah, Lettinen, Busenberg, and Blitznack. Now I'm pretty sure we have two first round picks, so see what we can do. I would love to get John Quick. We have a lot of players already, but I mean, there's a couple of good three and a half star players like spread out through here. So like, I mean, look at all that. There's a ton of three and a half star players, and. It's weird that there's no four and a half star. Just John Quick. That's the only guy. But you know what? That's okay. Um, and I should be able to go here and find out how good our guys got before we go into the draft, I think. I think. Um, okay, so Edmonton wants. We want first round picks and second round picks. First and seconds. Surplus, no, we are not getting rid of our first and seconds. Okay. Trade block, what do we got? Players on the block. Who do we want to put up here? Um, oh my god. Okay, so we can, yeah, you can kind of take a peek at what we got. So Burmistrov's still an 80. Doherty went up to an 84. I thought he'd get a bit better after that season. Dubnik's still an 80. Uh, Dumba's a 79 still. Eberle's an 87 still. Gaunt's went up to an 85. Eh. Hall went up to a 90? What the frick? How did he go up to a 90? He didn't even have a great season. Oh, my God. That's ridiculous, man. Um, Jones is still... Or Jones went down to a 78. That's okay, though. Eric Carlson went down to a 90. He was a 91 last year. Clefbaum went up... No, Clefbaum went down to an 83? Okay, yeah, we'll throw him on there. Yeah, we'll throw Clefbaum on there, I guess. Uh, Korpakoski still 79. Lander still 79. McKinnon went up to an 80. Ooh, fantastic. <laughs> uh, Marinson is an 82. Who is that guy? I don't remember that guy. Where did he come from? Four stars. Well, wow. 82. Nice. Josh Morsey is a 62. He didn't get really any good. Ryan Murray is still an 88. Musil is an 80. Nuge went up to an 88. Nice. Oslo is 79. PRV is an 81 still. Palazes is an 81 now. Oh, baby. Oh, that's nice. Backup goalie. So, yeah, he can be our backup now. I'm going to give him some playing time. So, I'm thinking we should put Dubnik on the trade block. Petrovic. Who's this guy? Oh, yeah, he was on our team. Did he go down? I thought he was better than 80. Maybe he was. Polak's an 87 now. Oh, wow. Wow, that's sick. Jonathan Quick's a 90. Did he go down? No, I think he's still a 90, yeah. Um, uh, bah, 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 bah. It'd be cool if you could see if they went down or got better. Uh, Yakupov went up to an 87. That's good. So, yeah, I think switching uh, players around actually helped because, like, they didn't get worse, and I switched them between the two lines, right? I switched first and second line every 10 games. So I think it, I think that actually I think that approach worked. Um, yeah, everybody got better except for who got worse. Um, I'm not even sure. I can't even think. Okay, so we're gonna put Dubnik on there, and we're going to put. Uh, I can't believe Clef Clefbaum got worse. That sucks. He was an 85, so. Um, da, 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 da. I don't know who else to put on there. Maybe Jones? Yeah. Somebody that's worthwhile. I mean, Hall got, got up to a 90, which is sick. 
Um, Eberle is still good. Yakupov got better. I don't know who, who to get rid of, man. This is crazy. I have too many players. <laughs> too many good players. Ocelot, I think, is ready to come up now. Oh, maybe not. Third line checking forward. He played in the AHL, though. I thought Ocelot was good. Uh, Rajala got better. We have a lot of guys who are, like, basically ready for the NHL now. They all had great seasons. Yarvi's Palazas. I think Palazas is going to get a lot of starting time. Um, potential attribute, poise, poke check, puck playing, rebound shot. Where is... Um, somebody said something about um, goalie... Oh, I can't remember what it was. Like consistency or something, but there's no consistency attribute. Someone said something about consistency, that's why goalies win or something, but there's no consistency attribute. I know there used to be, and it was either one or two. So, like, either your goalie was always consistent or he was hot and cold kind of thing. But I don't see that anywhere, unless that's poise. But I don't think it is. His, like, reflex stats are really good. Puck control, not so bad, like, but his rebound control is good. Shot recovery could do better, but... Um, okay, so let's look at our defense quick, see if we can throw somebody else. <gasps> I think our forwards are fine, we just need a defenseman, because Clef Bomb got worse, right, so... So we got Dumba, who's a 79. Um, Breeze Glove, I don't even know who that is. Who's this guy? Three stars. Wow. Um, <laughs> Gaunch is for sure second line center for still. Gurnat, who's this guy? He's getting better. He's a 79. He's going to be like ready next year. Uh, Graham, no. Uh, Hallis Chuck, 21. Three and a half. Uh, Hulf, no. Kapanen, no. Carlson's going to be on our lineup. Mars, Mer Okay, where did, did this guy play for us last year? No, he played in the HL. Yeah. So he's he could probably slide into our top our top six, for sure. Like on our bottom six there. Uh, Morrissey is still not ready at all. I don't know why, but he's like 22 already, four and a half stars. He's not getting better. Just a little bit ridiculous. I don't know if I need to throw him in the NHL or something. Murray's an 88, so that's good. Musel's an 80. I think he played all last year in the NHL. Yeah. So Musel got up to an 80. Um, Petrovic is an 80. Like, we got a lot of defense. Holy crap. Um... No, no, no. Okay, I think I'm going to put Petrovic up there. He's 25, so... Musel is a bit younger, and he's an 80, so... Um, yeah. Marison's going to be in the lineup. Murray. If we get rid of Clef Bomb. So that's like Murray, Carlson, Pollock is our top three. And then we'll have um, maybe Musel and Marison as our bottom six. And then we have our bottom, like or five and six, and then we need a, f a number four. We basically need a number four defenseman, so that's where maybe Morgan Riley fits in. I don't know. We don't need a backup goalie. We could use Devin Dubnik for trade bait or whatever. Okay, let's... I think that looks good. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Sorry if that's taking a while. I'm just trying to think in my head what looks good. We have a lot of bottom, like, six forwards, so that's not an issue. Um, the only thing is, I don't know what's going to happen with um, um, uh, McKinnon. I don't know what's going to happen with McKinnon. He might still be a third-line player, so that I mean that might not change at all. Um, yeah, I'm not going to worry about that though right now. But we definitely have top six forwards. Like, there's no doubt about that. Like, Doherty got better, Gaunt got better, Yakupov got better. Hall went up to a 90 apparently for some reason. Uh, Everlay didn't change. He's still an 87. Nuge went up to an 88. Like, our our top six D or forwards are just gross. Next year, Doherty's going to be like a 90, so. 
Um, yeah, there's no doubt about that. And we're not going to get fired because this is our second year and we won the President's Trophy and won the Stanley Cup. So even if we have one bad year, which I don't think is going to happen, we're pretty much set. Pretty much set right now. So the goal right now is to try and get that... Um, crap, what was that guy's name? Uh, I don't know what his name was. Okay, so I'm going to write these down in notepads. So we got New Jersey, Colorado... San Jose, Vancouver, uh, Philly. Those are our top top five. And I, w I definitely want to go for New Jersey's. We have two first-rounders, so that's not an issue. I think we should be able to get it. All right, let's go for it. Continue. So we got a bunch of trade offers here. All right, so let's see what we get here. Petrovic and Dubnik. For two second round picks. That's decent. I wonder if they have any defense though. I'd rather get a defenseman in return. Kyle Quincy. What is he like? How good is Quincy? Quincy is an 85 top top four. Okay, so I'm gonna write that down. So Detroit. Cause you guys said like I'm assuming I can just go back and uh, redo the trade, right? So Petrovic and Dubnik for two second rounds. Okay, so we'll go. We'll come back to that maybe. I'm just gonna write them down because if they're good trades, I'll go back to it. Uh, Boston calling because you can't postpone trades, which I find is stupid. Oh wow, Hallis Chuck and Petrovic for a first and a second. How good is Hallis Chuck? I don't. I think he's like a 60, 66. Okay, that's. Eh, it's doable, maybe. So Boston wants Hallis Chuck. Oh, I think I spelled that wrong. Hallis Chuck and Petrovic for 2017 first, second. Okay. All right, so we'll come back to that one. That's actually a pretty good trade. Um, Ottawa, what do you want? Petrovic and Dubnik for two seconds. Uh, I don't know about that. Do they have any D? Not really. Eh? I think I stole all their players. <laughs> I think I'm just going to skip that one because I got a better trade offer already. So, um, I'm, I'm kind of liking the Boston trade. But we'll see. Petrovic for a first in 2018. Uh, I'll put that down. Islanders... Petrovic for first in 2018. I want to keep track of all these. Okay. Let's see if we can go back to them. What is Florida offering? Florida, Morrissey, and Dubnik for a first and a second. See, I want to keep Morrissey, so I don't really want to do that. I think I'm going to skip that trade altogether. We're not going to worry about that. Okay, so we want to go for New Jersey. New Jersey see what we can get here. All right, New Jersey. New Jersey. All right, what do you got? They don't want to trade their first, but you know what? We're going to go for it because I want to try and get that player. Not that we need him, but, you know. Uh, we got two firsts, so that's not a big deal. They'll get two firsts out of it. Two firsts, and do they need a goalie? I think they need a goalie, so I could throw in Dubnik. Throw in Dubnik. Um, and who else was I willing to get rid of a defense, right? I'm trying to think here. Wait, who, who are matching their, where am I going? I thought I was going the right way. I went backwards. Skater's matching block. Okay. Nuge, no. Nuge is worth a lot. Holy crap. Carlson, Murray, Pollock. I'm surprised Hall isn't, oh, they don't want Hall probably. Pollock, no. Okay, so we're not getting rid of these three defense. Morrissey. Morrissey's got a great trade value, but he's not, he didn't, I don't even think he got better last year. I'm kind of thinking, like, I'm wondering if I should just put him on the, the third defense line and see what happens. You know what I mean? Like, because I'm just like, eh, I don't know what I want to do with this kid. I mean, he's, I don't know, he's doing okay, I guess. Minus 16 isn't the greatest, but, like, he's been stuck at a 62 for two years already. Like, I don't know what to do with him. And obviously it sent me back to here. So they don't want Hall or Yakupov or Eberle. 
which is weird. They're both, they're all pretty good players. Doherty, Morrissey. Uh, you guys said to get rid of Clefbaum, but I think I'm going to keep him for now. Uh, Hallis Chuck, I could get rid of. He's not really valuable to me. I mean, he's three and a half stars, 66. He's a great trade bait player. Like, see if I throw him in there. I could probably get that right now. I'm assuming. Hallis Chuck, Dubnik, and two firsts for their first. I, I mean, that's a really one-sided deal. They're getting a lot for that. But like, really, Hallis Chuck's not getting better for me. He's got pretty good offense, but you know, whatever. Dubnik, he's not even going to play this year. He's going to be, like, in the AHL, so. Um, unless they have, like, a goalie that I can get rid of or get, like, a, a young goalie. No, they don't. They have nothing. Because, like, yeah, for sure I feel like they'll take that. Because that's good. That's good. Two firsts. I'm wondering if I should try and take off one of the firsts, maybe. Because then I can get two first-round picks. But I, like, have too many players as it is, you know. Halischuk is just, like, extra. Um, okay, let's take off Halischuk and see how that looks. Mm, Dubnik, okay, we'll try that. We'll see if it takes it. Yeah, see. Two firsts and Dubnik for a first. So that wasn't a big deal. Now... Who are the guys that had Kalischuk? Uh, Boston, and they have the 11th pick. Okay, but you guys told me to try and get Morgan Riley. So he's on, you said Toronto? Toronto. All right, Riley right there. I feel like he's a top two, though. Yeah, see, I don't really want to get him because he's going to get worse if I put him on my top, in my top four. I feel like that's just a waste of a player if I get him. I mean, him and Pollock will probably rip it up, but... <sighs> I don't know, man. That's a toughie. That's a tough tough call. And I think he's only got one year left in his contract, yeah. So he might not even sign for us. He's an 88, so he's going to ask for a lot of money. Yeah, like, they have so many... T you know what? I think he might not even sign with Toronto. They might not even be able to sign him. They have 100... They have one... 1 million cap space right now. They might not even be able to sign him. Especially because Gardner needs to get signed. And he's an 88 as well. So, I mean, they're going to be, like, screwed for cap. So, like, I could always just, you know, hold off and wait for the off season and try and get him. Yeah, I think that's almost the best bet right now at this point. Um, as for... Hallis, Chuck, and Petrovic. Well, we don't need Petrovic regardless. We get a Boston first, but uh, let's try. Let's just go with Colorado. Eh. Do I want to get another first round? I don't really need another one. There's only one good player in the draft, right? So, yeah, eh, I think I might hold off on that. We'll hold off on that stuff right now. I'll keep these uh, written down just in case. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna hold off on the trades. We got the first round pick. That's all I need right now. So, All right, draft player. So we'll get the first round. John Quick. All right, so right wing who's left-handed. Perfect. All right, let's take him. And then I'm just going to auto-draft because that's all I need to do. There's nobody worthwhile, I don't think. So That's okay. So we'll just let this sim quickly. But, yeah, I feel like Morgan Riley's not even going to be able to sign in Toronto. So... All right, so I just sped up through there because it was just a waste of time. Chichu, Fernandez, Glope, Hensick, Bray. Okay, whatever. I don't know. They should let you, like, make a, like, because, like, B GM Connected has that auto-draft thing. They should let you, like, um, like, kind of put your, the top guys you want for each round, and then it just, when you do the auto-draft, it just picks whoever's available. And if no one's available, it just randomly picks a guy for that round. That'd be cool. All right, so let's see how good this player is that we got. John Quick. So we're going to have John, Jonathan Quick and John Quick on our team. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, I kind of want to quickly see who's going to be at UFA, too. Okay, these guys don't matter. Those guys are all unsigned. Oh, wait, where's John Quick? 
John Quick. So he's an 80 or a 71, four and a half stars. That's pretty good. That's that's decent. He's no he's no Doherty, but you know whatever. Oh wow, this guy's three and a half star too. Emmanuel Beret. That's pretty good. Um. Okay, so who are we gonna have to sign? Korpakoski. Um. Rajala, PRV, Burmistrov, Clefbaum, who we're going to end up trading, Pollock. Um, well, right now, apparently, we have 27 million, so I don't know how that works. <laughs> McKinnon, we need to re sign. Dumba. Okay, so it's mostly young guys right now that we need to re sign. Yeah, that's not bad, I guess. Yeah, all right, so we should be set, I think. Oh, what am I doing here? Carl Carlson got worse, but that's not a big deal. Not too worried about that. Taylor Hall got better. That's good. Murray stayed. Nuge got better. Everly stayed. Yakupov got better. Pollock got better. Gauntz got better. Doherty got better. Clefbaum got worse, so he's going to get the boot. Marison, Mar Marinson, Marinson got better. PRV got the same. <laughs> Petrovic's... I think Petrovic got worse. Uh, Musil got better. Burmistrov got... Oh, no, he said the same. McKinnon got better by one. <laughs> Big whoop. Lander. Ocelo. We got a lot of, like, fourth-line players right now. It's ridiculous. Dumba. I kind of figured Dumba would get better, but he's just sitting there. I, like, still want to play him, but he's not really improving, which is kind of frustrating. Kind of frustrating right now. John Quick... He's pretty good. He's going to be a solid player. I'll throw him in the AHL for a year, I think. Oh, no, I don't think he'll be able to play in the AHL. I don't think. Where is he? Sorry, oops, I passed him. Uh, yeah, he's 18, so I don't think he'll be able to play in the AHL. I don't know. All right, whatever. So we got the first round pick, and uh, I think we're going to be set, like, honestly. I don't know. We traded Dubnik because he's not going to be playing. Palazes is going to be our backup. And he, he I think he's going to get some playing time. I think I'm going to like, eh, I don't know. Because Quick Quick did really well last year, so we'll see. But I'll, I'll maybe reduce the games for Quick to like maybe 60, 55 games. And then Palazes can get like 25 games-ish. All right. So we'll do that next time. We'll do the re-sign and uh, free agency. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.